So if you're in the mood to represent one of the four elements, earth, air, fire, water, I got you covered. Say hello to Mother Earth. I decided since this look was going to be really intense that I would just start off with my eyes and then apply my foundation and all of that stuff which will probably make it into different sections of this final look like I do in a lot of my other ones. So the first thing you want to start off with is a base. You could use a green eyeliner, you could use something of a gel form, you could even use a black. I am actually going to take, this was a limited edition MAC paint pot called Otherworldly. And for those of you who are fortunate enough, fortunate enough to see my Give It To Me Madonna video, this is the exact paint pot that I used for the scene when I was in the garden, grass area, that whole thing. Yeah, YouTube took it down. Thanks, Warner Brother Music or Warner Music Records, whatever you are. So we're just going to apply this all over the lid and up into the eyebrow area. Since I am Earth, I decided after posting about it on Facebook that I would do the green and brown root. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to use this green base just to make the greens that I apply pop. What I'm thinking, since I didn't like pre-do it, is I'm going to do browns up, I mean greens up here and then browns down here. What do y'all think? I think it's a great idea. So just pack that on whatever color you use whatever eye base you use, just choose something that's gonna help make the color stand out and be a lot more vivid. Get right underneath the eyebrow area. And we'll apply a primer or some sort of eyeliner underneath the lash line area later when we get to it. Ooh, that took me one minute and 50 seconds to do all that, that's ridiculous. <clears throat> Anywho, all right, so I'm going to take a MAC color called, this is Sour Lemon. You could use, no, I lied. I lied, I lied, I lied. Where's, nope. I'm gonna take a yellow, actually. Where is it? Here we go. I'm going to take Chrome Yellow. Yep, that's right. Which is a matte yellow. It's a MAC matte yellow. And the 239 brush, 213, 239. I gotta brush up on my skills, y'all. And we are just gonna put this right there on the inner corner. We're not doing the V intentionally, just not just yet, because I wanna do glitter there, I think. So we're just gonna put that pop of yellow right here. Looks like the sunshine. Just use that brush and pack it on. Let this color be really vivid, even if you're using something more frosty or shimmery. Let that be more intense. And we'll go back in and blend it. Now we will take Sour Lemon. And as I said, you could use a better eyeshadow if you want. And we're going to press this on the outer corner here, meeting it with the yellow. Hopefully you guys can see that. Maybe I should move the, can the light a little bit further back so you can see the color. Ooh, that's much better on my eyes too. All right, so both of these are very neon-esque. They're very, very bright. And that's okay. We want it that way at least for right now. Okay, then take just a simple blending brush with no product on it and just lightly blend that out. Then use the same brush and apply a little bit of that green color underneath your eyebrows. You don't want this color to be as rich 
down here. So that's why we're using a softer blending brush and not a whole lot of product on it. Now, if, that, if that's a little too intense for you to have green all over your eyes like this, then I would just suggest that you don't bring up the primer color all the way up to your eyebrow and that you use something more of a, a matte finish that's close to your skin tone, maybe a few shades lighter. You could even use your normal everyday powder as a highlight color, just so all of the rest stands out. So now what we're going to, to whoa, what we're going to do is take, this is Kelly Green, it's a MAC eyeshadow. You could also use Newly Minted, it's very similar. And we're gonna take the same 224 brush and pat that on right on the outer corner here, close to the lashes, and then bring it up into the crease. You don't have to be quite perfect with it just yet because we are going to be adding a darker color right on the lash line here, but do as you please. Sorry, I probably sound crazy. My allergies are acting up, so I just took some Benadryl. And let me just say, it makes me so tired. I just kinda wanna take a nap. But I have a lot of energy for some reason at the same time. So it's kinda bad when you have a lot of energy, but it, you wanna take a, take a little nizzy nap, a cat nap. And I've got friends coming over. They might call to be like, hey, I'm here, something like that. So if my phone goes off in this video, I apologize. Okay, so just take that Kelly Green or newly minted eyeshadow or just any minty color. Heck, even a turquoise would be cute. And notice that when I blend it into my crease, going into the inner corner, I make it a thinner line to where it almost blends into nothing. It just dissolves. And then over here, it's much thicker. Now the next color I'm going to use was one that I made. It's actually pretty cool. I took one of my pigments called Teal and I mixed it with some glitter from, they're both from MAC, it's here, I'll show you. It's that one right there. You see how shimmery that is? I've never actually used it but one time, so I guess I have, I shouldn't have said never. I've only used it one time. Basically, it's just a blue-green with lots of glitter and I'm gonna press that in towards the lash line. This is a darker color than the crease, so this will give you some more depth. If you have a color that's similar to this but doesn't have glitter, that's okay, because glitter can be a little tricky. So you don't have to insist about putting that on, especially since we're probably going to put it on the inner corner of our eyes later. So I'm just using one of my fan submitted brushes. Thanks, Becca, again. Watch these videos so you can hear me say your name a million times and you can squeal like a little girl. Eee, <laughs> Matthew Francis said my name. We actually went and saw a movie the other night with her hot mama, hot mama Morgan, hey. Oh, I thought that was my phone. And uh, Tater Tot, hey Tater Tot, how you doing? We saw Milk, it's already out on DVD, but we thought we'd go and support it at the local theater here. Great movie, you guys should definitely see it. All right, so now we're just making, whoo, this is so bold, I love it. Blend it out. I'm using the same blending brush that I used before, you'll notice. Okay, still not deep enough for me. So I'm gonna cut and then restart because we're already getting close to 10 minutes and I don't like having time limits as you know. So here's part one. Ooh. Bye.